In this video, I'm going to show you how to do GraphQL mutations using vanilla PHP. More on that after this intro. Now, if this is your first time learning how to create Shopify apps, or if this is your first time learning Shopify app development, then I highly recommend you to proceed to my previous videos where I will show you how to create a Shopify app using vanilla PHP. But if you are someone who doesn't have time and patience to watch my videos, then you can just go to our blog and there you can find the files that I will be using in this video. Now, keep in mind that we're going to do all of this locally. So what that means is you need to install your local web servers like SAMP and Angrok so that you can run web applications. Now, I'm not going to waste your time and talk about all of that. But instead, let's just proceed and learn how to do GraphQL mutations. Now, in this video, we're going to need two things. The first is the Shopify graphical app. The second is your Shopify app installed to a Shopify development store. Now, if you don't have the second one, then I highly recommend you watch my Shopify app development videos because I'm not going to cover all of that in here. So first, let's go to our browser and install the Shopify graphical app so that I can show you my strategy for creating or testing graphical uh, GraphQL queries and mutations. So I'm going to open my browser and open um, Google and I'm going to search for Shopify graphical graphical app. And make sure that you spell it like graphy and then QL. Okay, press enter. And we should have the following result and I'm going to select the Shopify graphical app install. Click that and we should have the following installer. So here you can type your Shopify store URL. I'm going to open my Shopify store and I'm going to copy the following URL and I'll paste it right over here. But I'm going to get rid of the HTTPS and the admin apps. We just need the domain of our Shopify store. And then here in the admin API, we need to select all of the scopes. So I'm going to click the select all. And if you scroll down, we should have here as well the storefront API. If you want, you can just select that as well. And then we can finally click install. It should redirect us to the installation or the OAuth page. And we should have the following installation page. And here we can just scroll down and click install app. And that should redirect us to the graphical app. Okay, so there you go. As you can see, now we have the following graphical app. This is usually what I use whenever I try to do mutations or queries. So to create a query, you can just type query. And then here you can type something like product or products. And then you can just try to get the first 10 products. And then inside of this, you can just get the node or edges. And then inside of the edges, you have the node. And then inside of the node, you can get the ID of the product. So if you run this query, you should have the following IDs of the product. Now, what about mutations? How do you create mutations? Now, previously we were using query, but this time, if you want to do mutations, obviously you're going to use the mutation. And here inside of the mutation, you can use the following product create, product delete, product update. Now, if you don't know the list of the mutation that you can use or the fields, you can select or you can open the documentation explorer and here you have the mutation. You can click that and inside of that, you have the following fields. You have the app credit create, purchase one time create and so on. So there's a lot of fields that you can use here in mutation. So since we are creating products, I can just search for products. And here, as you can see, I have a lot of mutation that I can use. I can create product using the product create. I can create product medias using the product create media. I can delete a product. I can delete product images and so on. Now you can just try and experiment using this uh, mutations. But in this video, we're just focusing on how to create the product using mutation. So I'm going to use the product create mutation or field here. And I believe we're going to need to pass an input. So here, create an input and then it's going to be an object. And instead of this input, you can pass the ID. You know what? Honestly, you don't need the ID. You just need the title. Maybe you can type as well like a description. So description or I think it's supposed to be body HTML. I don't know why it's not working. Description. The reason why it's not working, that's because you need to type in here first the value of the title. So we can just type something like graphical, GraphQL product. And then after that, you can type the description HTML. There you go. And then you can just give it an HTML, like, I don't know, like uh, paragraph. And then 
um, strong. You can close it like that and then close the paragraph tag. And then inside of all of this, you can type like hello. And then outside of the strong, you can type world. And then after that, you need to use the product. And then you can retrieve the ID of the created product. So if I run this, I should have the following result. So here I got the, the ID of the product that we just created. And if we go back to the products page, and if we open that in a new tab, we should have the product with the name graphical or GraphQL product. Now, if we scroll down, as you can see, now I have the GraphQL product. And if we open that, it should have a description, hello world. And as you can see, it's using a paragraph tag and a strong tag. So there you go. That's how you create products using mutations or GraphQL mutations. Now, how can we do that using vanilla PHP? So let's go back to VS Code. And here I have the following files, the index.php, the graphql.php, and then the functions.php. Like I said, you can get these um, files in the blog post that I'll be attaching in the description below. Now let's just go back to index.php and here I have the following. So I'm requiring the functions.php, it's this one. And then I'm getting the shop URL from the get variable and I'm using the access token generated by the token.php. And then we're going to create the GraphQL mutations in the graphical or in a GraphQL.php. So let's just go back to GraphQL.php. And here, I'm going to create a variable called query, or let's just call it mutation, okay? And then we're going to create an array. And then for its key, we're going to call it query. Now this is important, it should be query, okay? It should not be mutation or anything else. It should be query, it's important, okay? And then for its value, make sure that you're going to use single quote, not double quotes, because whatever is inside of the single quote, it should be using double quotes, not single quotes. I'm going to show you what I mean. So inside of the single quote, I'm going to create the mutation. So mutation. And then we're going to create the following field. It should be product create. And we're going to pass the input, correct? So input. It's going to require us an object. So make sure they close the product create field, okay? So product create, open parentheses, and then closing parentheses, and then input, open curly braces, and then closing curly braces. And then inside of this object or curly braces, we're gonna need the, um, the title and then the description, HTML, okay? And then for the title, we're going to pass a value, which is a string, so double quote, double quote. So this is the reason why you should use single quote in here because instead of the single quote, we're going to use double quote because if you use double quotes in here, the double quotes is not going to work. So make sure that you're using single quotes in your array, okay, for the query. So instead of the title or for the title, we can just type something like vanilla PHP GraphQL, GraphQL. And then for the description HTML, you can just do the same thing and then attach like paragraph tag it doesn't really matter what you put in here and then you can just type something like hello i am created using vanilla php and graph ql and then after the field product create we're gonna need to use the field product so open and close curly braces for the product create field and then we're gonna need to use the product and then we're going to retrieve the ID and then actually just ID doesn't really matter. And then just end the um, mutation variable with semicolon. And then we can use the function GraphQL. Okay, so let's go back to GraphQL.php and here I'm going to create a new variable and I'm going to call it product create. And then for its value, we're going to use the Shopify um, I believe we have a Shopify variable in here or not. So we can just use the GraphQL function. Okay, so we're going to use the GraphQL function and we're gonna need to pass the, the token, the shop URL, and then the query. So first is the access token. So access token. So the access token, it's from the index.php here, access token, okay? Next is the shop URL. So here at the shop underscore URL. And then the third argument is the query. So type mutation. 
and that with semicolon and then we can just honestly um, echo out the response so echo print r and then here you can just type the product create and then you can get the response it should be the body and then you can just honestly honestly you don't need to json decode that you can just save that and then let's just go back to our shopify app and refresh the page and there you go as you can see i have the following response so here as you can see i have the following id the graphql id shopify product and then the id of the product and if we go back to the products page and if we go back we should have the vanilla php graphql product let's scroll down and here as you can see i have the following vanilla php graphql so that's honestly how you make mutations using vanilla php it's honestly really easy now what i highly recommend you to do is to use the graphical app right over here and then once you're done you can just copy the following mutation and you can go back to your project and just paste that right over here and then you can just honestly change the value of this the input so there you have it that's how you create graphql mutations using vanilla php now if you enjoyed this video let me know by hitting the like button and subscribe for more shopify app development tutorials again thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time